as ever, buddy. T. Prar once again. Out of every pony in the main six, Applejack and Rainbow Dash are perhaps the most similar to each other. Both are tomboys not afraid to get dirty. Both are caring and devoted older sisters, a pseudo-sister in Dash's case. Both are loyal to their friends and loved ones, and both are honest to the point of bluntness. However, they do have their differences. Applejack can be stubborn and ridiculously overprotective, but she's also very down-to-earth and usually the most sensible of her friends. Rainbow, on the other hand, is arrogant, reckless, impulsive, and often tactless, though she still has a good heart and means well. The one big thing these two do have in common, though, is that they're very competitive, and they both love to win, especially against each other. Their adrenaline-fueled drive to be the best, unfortunately, often obscures their better judgment and common sense. We saw them fall weather friends back in Season 1, Castlemania in Season 4, and Buckball Season in Season 6. Well, it's back again in Season 8, with a rather frustrating vengeance, as the young six can attest to. Without further ado, let's jump right into Season 8, Episode 9, Non-Compete Clause. Let's get to it! Hiya, Dash. Hi, Yona, Silverstream. There you go. Whoopsie. Hello, girls. Spike. Did you drop the month announcement? You're just in time. But it's gonna be me. Yeah, right. I got this one nailed. Well, aren't we modest? The month is... Fluttershy. Was there ever any doubt? Jeez, how about a little warning next time, yeah, kiddo? Me neither. The award is based on the students' vote. They must really like you. Who wouldn't like you, pumpkin? <laughs> I don't know what's funnier. Fluttershy's expression, or the fact she's had the exact same one for her Teacher of the Month photo nine times in a row now. But, on that subject... Beyond the obvious SpongeBob's Consecutive Employee of the Month Awards joke, if this is the ninth time she's won the award, that means the Friendship School's been in operation for nine months now. That's quite a time skip. And if you ask me, it's about time for summer vacation by that logic. Congratulations, Fluttershy. <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> Better luck next time, gals. Next item of business. I've been looking into a new activity for our friendship classes. Spike? The guidebook, if you please. Section 147, paragraph 2 states that teamwork is a key part of friendship. And section 229, paragraph 9 says outdoor activity reinforces learning. Add that together, and what do you get? Ooh, ooh. Okay, Pinky. 147, 229, carry this two. She's right, you know. You're better at math than I am, Pinks. Mm -mm. A teamwork field trip. Leading it is a teacher of the month type job. So I thought I'd ask... I'm your pony, Twilight. Sweet Apple Acres has taught me a thing or two about working together. Yeah, but true. being a Wonderbolt's the definition of teamwork. <laughs> also true. I'm sure you're not saying fancy flying makes you a better choice than me. Actually, I think that's exactly what <laughs> she's saying. Say Better, just a little more qualified. No event. Maybe you can lead the field trip together. How considerate of you, sweethearts. Of course. Who better to model the importance of working as a team? Um, Rarity, Fluttershy, me, Spike, this flower pot. Wow, that was unusually snarky for Pinky. <laughs> but I love it. She clearly knows that Jackie and Dash are going to screw this up. Both of you are teamwork experts. If the students see the two of you teaching together, they'll learn even more. I know you've been competitive in the past, but I'm sure you'd never let that get in the way of friendship education. If you think that, your studiousness, you don't know these two. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. 
Now, don't think I'm criticizing you, Flutterbug. Your heart was in the right place when you made that suggestion. And even Twilight thought they'd be above being petty and competitive about this. But having them work together was something they both desperately want at stake is a recipe for disaster. Hello, Young Six. Trip before. Yeah, what's the point of this exactly? Getting out of the classroom, duh. Yeah, best at field tripping! Yeah. At least it's not in your braids, Yona. So fun! Huh? Uh. Oh, Silver Pretty Stream. Sure the head mayor has something else in mind. Sandbar right, knows what's up. Today you'll learn how important working together is for building a strong friendship. With hey, Professor Applejack. Get out there and do some learning the Apple family way? This and Professor Egghead. Uh, Rainbow Dash. Ever. With me in charge, that is. Well, <laughs> with us in charge. Meaning mostly me. Yeah, good one. And <sighs> teamwork activity do you two have planned for today? Shed Canoe thing. racing! No of course way. they wouldn't pick we the same idea. I bet that's exactly what your teachers had in mind. Right, of course. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Every creature, follow the leader. Tally ho, kids. I'll check in later to see how it's going. Remember to work together. Honestly, Twy, you'd be better off supervising them. Now take a good deep breath. What do you smell? Teen spirit? I don't know what yak smells like, nor do I think nope. I want to. Try again. Um, apples? <laughs> That's the obvious uh, answer, Ocellus. Anyone? Anyone? No? The promise of... Teamwork! That's Not a bad-looking shed. And this here is what we're gonna use to build it. Nothing brings friends together like a little hard work and honest sweat. Oh, she's not wrong. <laughs> sweat? Seriously? That's supposed to be part of friendship? Well, yes. It's a sign of working hard and diligently. Don't tell me you've never broken a sweat, pulling off coordinated choreography with your fellow bolts. That takes teamwork. Not every pony would know that, Rainbow Dash. Just teacher of the month kind of ponies. Whatever. Let's just get this done so we can move on to my activity. Sorry, kids. You deserve better than this. They're actually doing really well. Measure twice and cut once. Haste makes waste. Slow and steady. Any more Every proverbs you want to throw at us, Jackie? <laughs> Admittedly, that takes a lot of skill. You can't build an apple shed like that. Oh yeah, I just did. Whoa! No way! Whoa! Pretty nice, Dash. If you can call an apple shed impressive. Anything can be impressive, bash, Gallus. Mean it's good. Oh, sorry, can't hear you. Too busy practicing my teacher of the month pose. Yeah. Yeah. Hoo you know, at least with SpongeBob, the only reason he got competitive about being employee of the month was like he was paranoid about Squidward beating him. Because he saw as a sign of the quality of his work slipping below his usual standard. We know how passionate he is about his work, and wanting to impress Mr. Krabs. Here, it feels like the only reason Dash and AJ even want to be Teacher of the Month is because it's just another award to win. Though I do like to think that they also want proof the students like them as much as they do Fluttershy. They're being both jealous and petty. Don't count your pictures before they're snapped, Rainbow Dash. Now oh, there's a good on. proverb for ya. Students are totally gonna vote for a teacher who gets things done. No, they're gonna vote for a teacher who gets things done right. No, they're gonna vote for a teacher who doesn't make it abundantly clear that all they care about is getting their support for an award, just to stroke their own ego. Yeah, this isn't awkward at all. Well said, Smolder. You kids are good at this, I'll say that. Steady, steady. Easy does it. Slow. 
little to the left. Just a teeny bit. Uh, a hair to the right. Only a hair. Now hoof shaven higher. Just a smidge meter. Just bring it down already! <laughs> nice going, Rainbow Dash. I'll give you one guess whose side is still standing. Yes, I <laughs> Lucky there was no door there. <sighs> um, professors? I'm a little confused about teamwork now. That's it's their fault if you are, Ocellus. Follow me! Last one to the stream is a rotten apple shed! Too soon, Dash. Too Who's soon. ready to smash the all-time equestrian speed record for river canoeing? Is it an academy record? If not, not why bother? First I've heard of it. We need to get to the finish line before this alarm goes off. That means you gotta move fast! And we know you're all about fast, Dash. Good catch, everyone. Um, you wanna have questions? No time for them! Get in the boat! Not the mark of a good teacher there. You really think winning some canoeing record is gonna get you that teacher of the month trophy? I'm pretty sure every creature's gonna like it a lot better than pounding nails and cutting wood. Hey, they're enjoying themselves until you muck things up. Yuck, not like water. Sometimes, Poor Yona. I'm scared to try something new. I whistle. <laughs> Better than what I can do. We got you, Yona. Oops, a daisy. Way I see it, Twilight's gonna give that teaching trophy to a teacher, not a racer. We'll see about that. Ay, ay, ay. Stroke! 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 Harder! Put your back into it, newbies! I thought Spitfire was the drill sergeant. Stroke! Stroke! Slower! Focus on her paddle technique, y'all! AJ's got the right idea. We're really going now! That's the spirit, Silverstream. When we move. When your professors get their act together. When every creature starts listening to me, the leader of my activity, Applejack! Well, she has a point, I guess. Now, stroke! Set sail for adventure! Looking much more heroic than you're acting, Captain Dash. Dang it, team! We can still beat that record! Like they care. Stop! Go! Rubble ahead. Left! Right! Aye, aye, Captain! Wait, what? Left. Don't you hate being in the middle? Line from here. If we go left, we'll be heading straight into the Bitacuda fish. Bitacudas! When piranhas just aren't deadly or interesting enough. Professors? You'll care plenty when they bite you. Guys, Professors! Let's go around them! Focus, you idiots! Ah! Reacher's overboard. <laughs> Tread water, everyone. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I'm glad you're having fun, sweetie. Obviously not, because there goes our new speed record. That's not what you should be caring about right now. Hold on, Yona. Well, shoe be do. Your friends can change into creatures like do. Good work, girls. Dog. About as good as the apple shed building. We can always count your honesty, Smolder. Until Applejack messed him up. I did not. Did too. Did not. Shut yep. up. It's been like this all day. I wouldn't say all day. Just 99% of it. Thank you, Sandbar. I can't believe this. You're not teaching teamwork. You're competing with each other. 
I thought you were past that. So we did are. I. But old habits Don't die see. hard. We got carried away with wanting to be the teacher of the month is all. Is all? You put the students' lives in danger in that river. Yona almost drowned. You two are lucky if you don't get suspended for this kind of negligence. And that's not even getting into what the leaders of the foreign allies would have to say if they found out. You boneheads! The teacher of the month wouldn't care about being the teacher of the month. I know Fluttershy would be thrilled to see another pony win. That's it. I'm taking over this field trip. Best decision you've had all day. Hold up, Twilight. Don't count out Rainbow Dash for the award just yet. You should have seen her fire up those students to build a shed. No way! You're the one the students listen to. Besides, you saved us from those pony-eating fish. I'm not buying it, and neither should well, you, Twy. But Applejack should definitely be Teacher of the Month. Hmm, maybe you two have learned something after all. Does yeah, they've learned to take another extreme in their competing. The Field trip? Well... Come on, Twilight! We get it! No more arguing! Right, Applejack? Right as rain and twice as fresh. <sighs> if it was me seeing this at face value, I suppose I'd want to give them another chance. But I'd still much rather have them supervised to make sure they stick to the plan. Fine. But I'm picking the next activity you two lead. A nature walk. No pony could possibly argue over that, right? Oh, right. Twy, you're See, so naive. We're already. You have no idea what you've wrought, your studiousness. Well, look at that. The path splits up ahead. Left or right? Ah, here we go again. Smolder knows Where the to drill. I was thinking right, unless you want to go left, because what makes you happy makes me happy. Oh, heck, forget about me. You want to go right, we'll go right. But teamwork means listening to other ponies, so it's up to you. Wait, Look, you I can be wishy-washy and, and overly right, accommodating, but, but this is just you. silly. Follow me. Yak no best way. Thank you, Yona. Hey, where y'all going? Somebody with sense has to take charge. A little stuck there, gals? Either that gap needs to be bigger, or you two need to lose some weight. Good thinking, Gallus. You're welcome. He's seen that rock before. Like zoinks? Been a while since we used this gag. Sandbar's getting deja vu. Five times. Only five? Only some ponies won't make up their minds about which way to go. Your students are you finally fed up. Going in a circle, Applejack? Up to you, Rainbow Dash. I insist. <laughs> no, no! I insist. <laughs> but I insisted first. Do you guys remember those overly polite gophers from Looney Tunes? Mac and Tosh, the goofy gophers? This reminded me a lot of them, but it's a lot more annoying. Are we still on a field trip? Because this just feels like being lost. Ugh. It stopped being a field trip long ago, Silverstream. We can still get back to school before dark if we cross that ravine and stop doubling back. Good idea, Smolder. We knew that. All part of our plan. Right, Applejack? Uh, yep. Sure. All we have to do is, uh, build a bridge, cross that, uh, giant canyon, and we're home free. That is, if, if you think a bridge is a good idea. Only if you want to build a bridge. Stop! Listen, 
can just fly everyone over and be done. No, Gallus is so no done with this crap. To a lesson in teamwork. Cooperation. Togetherness. You are so right. Only as right as you are. Okay, we'll build a bridge. What if it'll here? make you two bridge. shut up. Vines. Bridges. I'm going with your idea. Vines. No buts about it. I'm building with your idea. Bridges. End of story. I think I'm getting a headache. <laughs> Wish I hadn't forgotten my iPod. Well, they actually managed to do it. A crap well, job of it, but they did it. Uh oh. Don't worry, kids. She's fine. Why didn't I think of branches to begin with? They're so easy to work with. Either those are crummy branches, or you've put on a few pounds. These here vines are just the thing, Rainbow Dash. Not to disagree, but these here branches are the way. Oh crap, baskets. See here? They're reenacting the bit from Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest. If they can just pendulum their way to the other side, they should be fine. In theory, anyway. But at least now they're agreeing on something. You couldn't have said anything truer, Ocellus. Fine kettle of fish you've gotten yourselves into. Get out! Let me try. Good try. Let me guess. Fight the Kudas? Yep. Mm -hmm. And they look mighty hungry. We gotta get our professors out of there. Any creature have a plan? Leave them hanging. Gallus! What? I'm kidding. Kinda. Not that they don't deserve a bit of karma, but... But mainly fast. I hate to admit it, but... This whole mess is kinda our fault. Yeah, At least you admit it. Trophy is worth getting eaten over. So, what do you say? You wanna team up and get ourselves out of this here pickle barrel? I thought you'd never ask. Hello, Ocellus. Yeah! Don't worry. And what a distraction. You nearly scared the cutie marks off us. <laughs> That'd be a sight. Booga booga booga! <laughs> that went a lot better than with the puck wedges. Don't worry, gals. You're safe. Get some good practice in for the next Yik Slurbert Fest, Yona. Welcome back, professors. Good well, job, that kids. Was a rescue, and y'all did it together. Teamwork. <laughs> no big. Those fish weren't even a thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. <laughs> Don't lie, Ocellus. You did that on <laughs> purpose. Field trip Huh? How was the field trip? Eventful. What did you all learn? Uh... Yak learned Pony Smart! Yeah! Professors Applejack and Rainbow Dash were such good teachers! It was kind of crazy genius. They showed us what not to do so we'd figure out what we should do. Well, he's not wrong. It took us a while to get it. Especially at the ravine. It would have been so much easier to just fly home. But instead, our professors built bridges the wrong way just to show us how important teamwork is. 
Yeah, yeah because it was definitely on purpose. Talk about commitment. We know it's too early to pick the teacher of the month, but we'd like you to consider Rainbow Dash and Applejack. Oh, Salas, Cinnamon Bug. That's very sweet of you, but I still don't think they're quite there yet. At best, they should at least stay... considered. Thank you for telling me. I'm so glad to hear your field trip was a success. I'll make sure to schedule another one right away. But with a different chaperone, hopefully. You were actually just competing the entire time, weren't you? Hit the nail on the head. Yeah. Well, not all the time. I agree with you for the whole nature walk. Only because you were angling for that Teacher of the Month award. <sighs> it's gonna take time, but hopefully they'll get their heads out of their asses one of these days. Oh boy. This episode was quite an experience. And I don't mean an entirely bad or an entirely good way. It actually took me another watch, and talking with some friends, to make me realize just what's wrong with this episode, and the deeper implications behind what happened. But is it really that bad? Well, let's consider. Applejack and Rainbow Dash both really want to be made Teacher of the Month at the Friendship School. It honestly wouldn't surprise me if they were the ones who suggested the prize in the first place. I'll let Twy impose it, as a means of encouraging her friends to do well as teachers. Whatever the case, they clearly only want it for the sake of winning, since competition's in their blood. Not that I'm saying they're necessarily bad teachers. However, for the ninth time in a row now, Fluttershy's won it, and it's not difficult to see why. As the award is based on the input of the students, it's clear just how much they love her. I'm proud of you, Flutterbutter. But now, Twy has arranged a field trip to teach the students about teamwork. And Applejack and Rainbow both jump at the call to lead it, and end up doing it together. Predictably, the two just want to be in the running for Teacher of the Month, and disagree on almost everything. Applejack starts them off with shed building, which actually goes pretty well, until Dash speeds up the process and wrecks their hard work. Then, Dash takes them out on a canoe, just for the purpose of beating a speed record, and when Applejack plays backseat Helmsmare, the canoe crashes, and Yona nearly drowns, if not for Ocellus and Silverstream rescuing her. Twilight finds out what they've been doing, and is not impressed at how they were only concerned about competing, rather than instructing or keeping their students safe. Like I said, Yona almost drowned! On their watch! Imagine what might have happened if Prince Rutherford found out! Or Ember! Or Grandpa Gruff! Or Thorax! Or Queen Novo! Heck, this is the sort of thing the EA would strive to prevent, regardless of Naysay's bigotry against non-ponies. Applejack and Rainbow Dash are lucky they got off with a stern talking to, for a danger they put the young six in. Perhaps that's part of the issue here, that the two suffered no worse punishment for their actions than what they put themselves through, especially in the final act. In any case, Twilight rightfully intend to pull him from the field trip when they beg for another chance, now striving to compliment and agree with each other, though still clearly and stubbornly focus on winning Teacher of the Month. Twilight decided to give him another chance, and chose a nature walk for them to take, thinking there was no way they could screw it up. Oh, how wrong she was, as Jackie and Dash are now overly obliging to the point of ridiculousness, insisting the other go first or decide proving themselves no better than when they were at each other's throats. Honestly, as narrator 007 pointed out to me, one thing that does work in this episode's favor is the behavior of the young six. Sandbar, Gallus, Yona, Smolder, Ocellus, and Silverstream are clearly much more competent about teamwork without even trying. They demonstrated it pretty well in the season premiere when they were playing hooky and defending themselves against the Puckwudgies. Their exasperation at Applejack and Rainbow Dash being competitive idiots is a pretty good saving grace. Like they're a surrogate for the viewing audience. We, and they, both know what adults the two are being, so we can groan and roll our eyes along with them. This all came to a head when they had to cross a ravine. 
The easy way would be to fly over. But AJ and Dash insisted on building bridges. And they only end up suspended in a vine and branch cage over water teeming with Baitacudas. To their credit, they did realize what they did wrong, and that no trophy was worth the mess they were in, and the young six pulled together spectacularly to rescue them. When they got back, they even spoke to Twilight in their favor, saying they actually did a good job hosting the field trip, that they taught them by showing them what not to do, and purposely giving them an excuse to work together, and even asked that they be considered for Teacher of the Month. I think they just didn't want to get them in more trouble after the hell they went through, though Gallus did suggest leaving them there. But I think we all know AJ and Dash aren't winning Teacher of the Month after that. It doesn't help that they go right back to arguing as the episode closes out. So if they did learn anything, it doesn't look like it sank in. So, what have we learned? That Applejack and Rainbow Dash should never work together again if they've got eyes on a prize. Also, that sometimes you can learn about something by seeing how it shouldn't be done. Though I wouldn't recommend that as the only way you learn it. Maybe if this episode involved an activity where competition was actually a factor, like a sport, it might have worked better, but the execution here wasn't perfect. I see another stern talking to in AJ and Dash's future, as well as several accusation fix on FIM Fiction. The students surpassing the teachers does give promising hope for the Young Six's futures, but it's one of the few saving graces of this otherwise frustrating episode. Is it the worst? No, but it's not a very good one either. I'm at least hopeful that the rest of the season won't be as much of a mixed bag. Well, until next time, see ya!